Hey everybody! Today we are going to look at the features that are coming in ECMAScript 2021. It's important to note that these features are not out yet because ECMAScript 2021 is still in stage 4. They plan to release it in June this year, 2021. The new features in ES 2021 are weak references, the new string prototype method replace all, the logical assignment operators, numeric separators, and promise.any. I advise you to watch the whole video to see all these features and to get a better idea of what's coming next in ES 2021 because they are super nice and super useful. The first feature from ES 2021 we will look at is the numeric separators. This feature is a very nice addition that makes it easier to work with very large numbers. For example, let's take 92 million as an example. So let's write const number 92145723. You can see that it's not that easy to read this number and if you have lots of numbers like this it can become confusing. Therefore, this new addition allows us to add underscores so we improve the readability of this number. So let's do it in the new way, ES2021 way. Let's just simply add underscores, 92145 underscore and that's it. Now if we run the code it's gonna display the same number as if we didn't have the underscores. So let's run this and see what happens. But first of all let's output this to the console. Now let's run node numeric separators and you can see the number. It works as before. Therefore the purpose of these underscores is just to improve the readability from the developer perspective. This feature doesn't affect the performance of the applications or anything like that. It's just to make it easier for developers to read large numbers. Another addition to ES2021 is the string.prototype.replaceAll method. The new method replaceAll doesn't bring groundbreaking changes, but it's a small nice addition. As the name implies, using this method you can replace all the occurrences from a string. As always, it's easier to understand something if we see an example. So let's see this method in action. For this example, let's consider the word JavaScript which is not written properly. So let's write j x v x script replace all and then the character we want to replace with the character we want to replace. So in this example we want to replace all the x's with the letter a. So let's see what happens. You can see that now we have the correct word which is javascript. Before having this method replace all, you would have to use regex to replace all the occurrences. Therefore, it's a small but nice and a welcome addition that allows you to replace stuff easier and quicker. The next ES2021 feature is the weak ref feature. Weak ref is the shorthand for weak references and its primary use is to hold a weak reference to another object. That means it doesn't prevent the garbage collector from collecting the object. The weak reference is useful when we don't want to keep the object in the memory forever. But why do we need the weak ref in the first place? In JavaScript, the object is not collected by the garbage collector as long as a reference to that object exists. Therefore, it keeps the object in the memory which leaves you with less memory. The weak ref implementation allows you to avoid that. As always, it's easier to understand something with an example. So let's see an example. Let's create a dummy object, const dummy object, and we can create a new weak reference by using the new weak ref like this, weak ref. We can create some properties like name cache mechanism, type cache, and then implementation weak ref. 
and we are done so let's try to see how can we get these properties of this dummy object first of all we can get the whole object by doing as follows object deref and here we have the whole object then we can access each property by adding the property name after the ref method as an example let's see the type property the ref type and you can see it return the type which is cache and then it applies to name and implementation as well for example to access the name we do the same but we replace type with name and here we have and it's the same for the implementation as well mind you this example is just for illustrative purposes showing how to access and read weak references i advise you to be very careful when using them because even though it can be useful in some cases the tc39 proposal advises people to avoid it if possible and i will add a link where you can read why you should avoid it if possible however in some circumstances can be very useful now let's look at promise.any which is another new promise method. The new method takes multiple promises and resolves once any of the promises is resolved. That's where its name comes from. It resolves once any of the promises is resolved. Promise.any takes whichever promise resolves first. Therefore let's see an example. So let's use a try catch block. Try const first promise resolved promise any and then we pass a fictive array of promises promises array this doesn't exist and then let's say do more work with the first promise resolved and then catch error and write a code to catch the error also if no promise resolves promise.any throws an aggregate error exception it also tells the reason for the rejection if all the promises are rejected. That's all about it's not rocket science. It didn't add something very complicated. It just takes an array of promises and resolves once any of those promises from the array is resolved. That's all about it. Feel free to play with it. The last feature from ES2021 we are going to see in this video is the logical assignment operators and more specifically there are three with the new logical assignment operators you can assign a value to a variable based on a logical operation that is it combines the logical operators with the assignment expression and you'll understand better once you see an example Think of them as similar to these operators which you are most likely familiar with. We can add a number to a variable like this. So let's do number and then plus equal one and it will add one to that variable. So let's start with the first one which is and and equals and it looks like this and and equals. The end and equals operator performs the assignment only when the left operand is truthy. So let's see an example so you can understand it better. Let's create a variable called first. Let first 10 and then let second 15. Now let's see what happens when we use this new operator first and end equal second and you can see the first is now 15 it's not 10 anymore and why did that happen because first was assigned a truthy value to make it easier to understand i will show you the equivalent of the above expression using an if statement if we are doing it with an if statement we can do it as follow if the first variable is assigned a truthy value then assign the second variable 15 to first so second and here we are first is now 15 therefore the equivalent of this is this if statement if this one is truthy which is a value other than false 0 minus 0 0 n empty codes null undefined and nan it assigns 
the second variable to the first one otherwise if this variable is falsy then it doesn't do anything let's see an example when the first variable is a falsy value so let first null let second 15 and now let's do first and and equal second and let's see what we have you can see that first is still assigned null because the first one is a falsy value that's all it is about this operator the next logical operator is or or equals which looks like this or or equals on the opposite spectrum of and and equals the logical or performs the assignment only when the left operand is falsy as usual let's see an example to understand it better let's use the same example let first null let second 15 and now let's do first or or equal second and you can see now first is assigned the number 15 let's see the equivalent of this code with an if statement so if first is not a truthy value let's assign the second variable to first and it's the same thing you can see first is 15 if we replace this with any value which is truthy for example let's do let first 20 and let's run the above if statement you can see first is 20 it didn't change also let's run again first or or equal second you can see it's still 20 therefore the assignment happens only when the left operand is falsy the last logical operator is the question question equals which looks like this similarly to the nullish coalescing operator an assignment is performed only when the left operand is nullish or undefined therefore let's see how that looks in action let's write let first let's assign undefined and then let's second 15 again and let's do it and now let's use the new operator to see what happens first question mark question mark equal second and you can see that the first variable was assigned the value 15 now let's change first with a number let first one and let's see what happens now let's run the code again and we can see it was assigned one you can see that the assignment didn't happen the variable stayed one as usual let's see the equivalent with an if statement let's make it this one again undefined and let's write the if statement if first is null or if first is undefined then and only then assign the value from the second variable to the first one and we can see first is 15 again but again let's change first to one and let's do the if statement again you can see first stays one however with this operator it's very very important to note that it doesn't check for other falsy values only checks for null and undefined like the nullish coalescing operator with that being said whenever you struggle with these operators look at the alternative code with an if statement after you use them for a while you will get used to them thank you for watching this video please let me know what you think about these new features in the comments are you looking forward to them or not i'm really curious to see what you think about them and i will love it if you would reply in the comments thank you